So far we have shown that even on a fully patched machine not running admin, it is just by clicking on a link or executing a Word macro or, or, or displaying a PDF, uh, you can execute the PowerShell commands that, that gets your machine compromised. And previously we also show how you can escalate privileges when a service contain path, uh, con contains spa spaces and um, does not, doesn't have a double quote. I'm going to show that that is not the only way of actually escalating privileges. But before I proceed, two things. One is that Curator can detect all these things as long as it gets uh, Sysmon logs as we've been describing in this series of videos. So if you're watching this video first, I encourage you to watch the previous one, previous one on this uh, series. And the other thing is that uh, don't get hung up on, you know, this attack or that attack, uh, because what, what the importance of these rules that Mutas created is that they are focused on detecting abnormal behavior. We don't know what are going to be the new ways that attackers are going to be uh, performing the attacks, whether it's with, you know by checking on the signatures, by checking on the on, on the hashes, by uh, deobfuscating encode base sixty four and other ways of obfuscating uh, character, by looking at the options, by looking from where which directory the the processes are are started, by checking w who is the actual parents, uh, whether if it's a Microsoft process, whether it's digitally signed by Microsoft, I mean, all those things are meant to actually detect this uh, type of, 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 of attacks. So let's actually move on to the next one. So I have a, a service here, and I'm going to zoom in for you to actually uh, see the details, and I'm looking at the properties of this uh, service. And as you can see here, this service has properly been, uh, uh, you know, surrounded by quotas and has no space whatsoever. So nothing stops the user, uh, I mean the hacker, on the user's machine being compromised, trying to escalate privileges to actually take a malformed file, and you have seen me doing this with uh, PowerShell, uh, commands and actually replace whatever is on that directory and the what I'm trying to do that is that the path for the executable which is this this path in here I'm replacing the actual executable this can happen on any service uh, that the company may have and I have the Kali system here on the back and if I start that service instead of a, a service being start, started, what you get is the machine being compromised, as you see that here. And you know that once you get that by you know invoking a shell, I can you know execute all the commands that are here. But importantly enough, if we do a get UID. I needed to exit the shell uh, to execute the getter ID. Notice that I have escalated the privilege, and I'm not only admin, I'm system on this machine. So I can do uh, hash dump that LSAS, and I get, you know, I can retrieve the, 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 the guy's credentials. And if we go to curator, we'll see that curator is actually detecting the, the actual attack. And again, this is an arms race. You need to get more intelligence from your endpoint. And getting the Sysmon messages is actually a very good and cost effective way of doing it. And if we go to the actual offense, we see the rules that uh, has fired. Notice that LSAS, that, that was triggered by doing the hash dump and the other rule that an unseen process started with uh, system user privileges. 
and if we open the second rule, we see that you know the Windows event, the process create, uh, the the system, the user got system um, access right, and the SHA, the SHA the the SHA two fifty six is not you see here are not in the uh, trusted reference set that we got with known hashes of uh, well-behaved uh, processes because this is actually a row one then uh, this this rule actually fire and you can actually go here into admin and even though we created a, a reference set with uh, a good set of, uh, of processes you will most likely need to add your own the one that are valid in your company otherwise you will get a, a false positive our plan is to have uh, get IBM to actually create uh, a X-Force feed that will keep these hashes updated automatically